In this video, I'm going to show you how you can complete Excel forms from data that you had, data that you have in Excel. In this instance, I've selected an invoice and they, there is a number of invoice templates that are available to you in the Excel when you go new and go into. Now I've selected this one and I've changed it around so that it would be suiting my needs, but basically it's a basic template. I have um, three people here and I would like to create invoices from them and so that I don't have to type it in every time. Let, let's say you have this online support or whatever monthly charge that you just want to click one button and have it done. So I'm on the developer tab. I'm going to macros. I'm going to run invoicing. And now it has created uh, invoices for all of these people. If you go down it it's got them all done for you. And it is also saved. I've got this in a file folder. And now it's created a PDF that is very, uh, very easy for emailing out to customers. So let me show you how I did this. So here's my code. I've, I've named the macro invoicing. I've declared R and C is long and I is long and WS is a worksheet. Now, this is an interesting thing. If you go path and you go this workbook dot path, go and, and the quotation marks or the backslash, it's going to save whatever you're producing here to the same location as the file is. Ours uh, too, because I have headings, and then it's gonna say do while um, R does not equal, does not equal blank. I'm not allowed to in the description put uh, brackets like this, so it will say not equal into the code that I'm supplying, but replace them with these brackets when you start. What we're going to do is we're going to copy my template, the invoice template. So it's a uh, sheets invoice copy, and it's going to put it after the sheets count. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set worksheet active. And then so what it's gone through is each of the each of the fields in your invoice it's going to put it in the, va the value that you have on your list here. So for example, we have worksheet range C8 and equals a value of uh, in the R row. Now, if we go to click on here, you can go up to your name box and you can see that this is C8. And basically what you do is you go through each of the fields and see what the name is. And then you're going to assign them to the row that's in your data field. Now it's gonna go through all your data now, when it's, when it's complete here, then it's going to, so worksheet name equals sheet one, R1, which is the invoice number, and then it's combining it with the customer name. So that's what it's going to save the file as. And so it says file name equals worksheet name, active uh, sheet export as fixed formats. We're trying to make it a PDF. And the path we've already said is the same place as we're keeping um, the data and file name and PDF and false. And then we go on to the next the next R. So that's how you can easily populate form from Excel data sheet. Please subscribe.